हेलो हेलो हाय रजनी गुड आफ्टरनून हाय गुड आफ्टरनून हाउ आर यू ग्रेट आई एम डूइंग फाइन आई हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर यू हाउ वाज योर डे माय डे वाज ओके 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 नथिंग स्पेक्टैकुलर नो इट वाज जस्ट ओके 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 ग्रेट all right so did you take an afternoon nap yeah that's why a little bit lethargic feeling a little lethargic mhm okay <laughs> so what are your plans now to you know make yourself feel all active again for the rest of the evening are you going out playing some sport watching anything interesting i'll go out uh, in the evening yeah around 5 pm but before that i'll just stay here i'll start editing my videos mhm yeah okay cool very nice fine then so let's get started with the session shall we yes okay so today the topic of discussion is going to be risk would you be interested to talk about this or do you have anything else on your mind hmm yeah we can discuss about this topic Okay so the first thing that comes to my mind is is there any risk that you regret not taking when you had the opportunity to take it up something mm. that you should have done you feel back in the days when you had the chance you should have grabbed it mm. oh i grabbed every opportunity but what i didn't do is like when uh, my father asked to come back and study here and start preparing for government job at that time when i was doing my masters in korean language i didn't mm-hmm. asked i didn't fight for that like i want to pursue that i want to stay here mm-hmm. i think that regret whenever i uh, you know see my friends working in different companies my friends going to korea even though i don't want to go korea but i wanted to do something in korean and in uh, i wanted to live some in different cities so that sometimes make me feel regret or something like mm-hmm. i should have uh, first asked to my seniors should have discussed with them too about yeah. this because after uh, you like quitting masters after coming back home after mm-hmm. uh, some days my seniors got to know like she had left to gnu then they asked a lot of things and they like you know scolded me a lot then mm-hmm. my mind started questioning my mind started saying like why did you do this to yourself mm-hmm. why didn't you ask to anyone and so it is one i guess regret thing and it it is not i guess risky but at that time you know uh, the strike was going on in gnu and mm. it made me my parents really scared about uh mm. for me so that's why it was if i have stayed there it would be riskiest for my parents like like they were feeling really scared about that and every mm. family member was asking asking mm. about mm. Uh, this situation so at that time i i was also not i didn't think about anything and i just came back so this okay. is one thing i i have okay moving out uh, when you had the chance that risk you feel like you should have taken okay now the other thing what is one risk that you glad that you took very happy that okay that you took that risk when i lied to my parents uh, for entrance exam of uh, central university of jharkhand <laughs> uh, okay. my parents didn't want me to go there and study because uh, i am from rajasthan and going to jharkhand is really you know scary thing for my mother especially she was very uh, worried about me every time even when i used to go to there because it used to take me around 3 days so mm. she was worried always so that thing and then um, i once i asked my father to i that i am filling a form for central university of jharkhand at that time my mm. father uh mm. denied but then uh, i wanted to go there then mm. i uh, lied them that i okay i am just filling a form for central university of rajasthan mm. so just mm. send me the money so they sent mm. that and i filled the form for jharkhand so 
this one thing i lied and i took as a riskiest thing and i went there because no one was agree no family member was agree to send me there but no i was, was very stuck yeah no one was yeah, agree no yes mm-hmm. yeah i was i stayed stubborn there and i went so yeah i like mm. that journey for years mm okay good i'm happy uh, that big, journey yeah that seems like a really big risk to your family sending their daughter away to a completely different place so it's never easy mm. right they always have that fear like what if something goes wrong yes. yeah yes Hmm. Very well. Great. Um, happy to see that smile on your face when you talk about this. <laughs> and <laughs> as you are aware, uh, we are extremely dependent on the internet for everything today. Uh, for taking classes, for communicating with our loved ones, even to buy groceries. Right. So, what are some threats that are associated with being so dependent on the internet? What are some risks and threats related to this? Hmm. Okay. I lost you in between, but I'm getting what you are asking. Okay. I think, uh, especially nowadays, I have seen it is now festival season, so mm-hmm. you know uh, there are a lot of uh, offers available on uh, mm-hmm. every platform, even that is a bigger mm-hmm. or small. So people, you know, uh, without giving a second thought, they grab the opportunity. Like, okay, opportunity. Like, okay, seventy-five percent discount, eighty percent discount. But in this case, some uh, what we call it, uh, it can be a little. I'm not get, getting the word right word here. Uh, when when people, you know. Uh, join that different platforms like apart from flipkart amazon they start buying from other websites too so they have to log in their gmail id there too they have to share their data too so mm-hmm. it can be a little you know uh, a thing i'm not getting the word <laughs> which i want to use here risky. it can be a little tricky maybe hackers like they they can they you know use this data for other stuff in order to yes. just send their yeah so that mm. is i guess riskiest and i have seen like when you purchase nowadays during festival season on uh, uh discounts on particular discounts yeah. people you know or even though they are if they are working there they know about and are you if you order it on uh, cash on delivery they start mm. calling they start asking about codes give this code and then we will deliver this and all in between like mm. that is not in our under that is not under the platform particular platform mm. but yeah. it is done by other do in between so that is i guess risky somewhere to share their share our uh, uh, gmail there our, our data there that is risky yes. yes. that's a bit risky makes sense yeah absolutely and i feel like uh, these hackers or cyber criminals they usually target uh, the elderly uh, they give them a panic call like your account has been blocked quickly share the cvv quickly share the otp if you want to unblock your account mm-hmm. and i feel like that generation is very gullible to these kind of crimes today so it's mm-hmm. very important to keep our parents our grandparents well informed that see when you receive these kind of calls just do not entertain them just hang up and we will check everything later so that's most important mm-hmm. yes right okay and when i think of risks one more thing that springs to my mind is adventure sports you might see uh, more and more number of people these days are indulging in things like maybe rafting scuba diving sky diving so many different exciting things are you uh, willing to try any of this or do you want to maintain your safe distance from these kind of sports no i definitely would love to do these uh, different activities i don't have fear with any of this like especially with heights or something people have fear with heights so they always deny to participate in this mm. but i would love mm. to because i have only hydrophobia so <laughs> i want to <laughs> try that uh, uh paragliding yeah okay some people have certain phobias right yeah and don't say um hydrophobia say aquaphobia okay uh, aquaphobia is the aqua water 
right aquaphobia is the general uh, fear of water like water bodies hydrophobia is a bit more specific okay hydrophobia is yes again it is an extreme fear of water but especially as a symptom of rabies in humans so hydrophobia is used in that context so you can say aquaphobia okay. acrophobia aqua okay. aqua a q u a aqua water aqua okay yes mm -hmm. yes got it so that's the word that you will use all right makes sense uh, so even i have a fear of heights um if i have to do heights. any of these things yeah heights usually it makes me feel very dizzy when uh i'm on the top of a very you know maybe mm -hmm. hills mountains if i'm looking down then i do feel a bit of a tremble in my knees <laughs> so i do feel that sometimes but if there are people around me i feel okay how about you uh, if you are with people that you trust do you feel better does it make it easier it is natural yeah it is natural yeah. we feel better when we are around people but yeah. i uh, am that person who want to take the i want to do this adventurous things alone too yeah, yeah i yeah. love that <laughs> yes great so have you set any timeline that by when do you want to accomplish these things by when do you want to you know uh, go on this adventure ride mm not not especially i haven't decided yet yeah oh okay. no problem fine then so those were my questions to you um the only thing i think that you can be careful of is using the present continuous tense sometimes when you're using is or are you're supposed to use the ing form so just be mindful of that okay mm -hmm. all right yeah. great so now it's time to learn some good idioms uh, because i feel like you can uh, you know definitely improve your vocabulary and your knowledge of idioms and stuff since you're already in the advanced level so i'll be telling you one idiom if you know the meaning straight away you can start uh, explaining it to me all right number 1 play with fire what does it mean when somebody says don't play with fire not the literal meaning the idiomatic meaning don't take risks i'm guessing only <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good educated guess and you're absolutely right playing with fire means to engage in a very risky or a very dangerous activity uh do mm -hmm. you want an example sentence yeah okay i'll put the example sentence in the chat box you read it out it will give you better clarity yes yeah yes here it is he is playing with fire by not wearing a helmet helmet while riding his motorcycle absolutely correct mm -hmm. so uh, do you also are you very strict with people Fire. around you if they don't wear helmets or are you yes, yes absolutely even i i feel bad when they don't even you know plug that one like mm -hmm. they are simply wearing and that is open so whenever they will met any accident the helmet will go away mm -hmm. and they will you will get injury so yes. yeah i am very serious about it okay <laughs> all right uh idiom number 2 taking a leap of faith what does it mean to take a leap of faith l e a p leap of faith yes take a leap of no. faith um okay okay it means uh to take a risk by having a lot of faith in yourself whenever you are in situations where there is no guarantee of success but still you take a risk mm -hmm. that is called as taking a leap of faith okay you are confident even though when there are uncertainties of yes outcomes. yes there is no guarantee of success but still you just based on some belief some faith that you have you just undertake that risk So here was a sentence for you in the chat box you can read it out Starting a new business is always a leap of faith but it can lead to great rewards hmm. Hmm. Yes if i have to relate the same with you 
you joined the jharkhand university what is the proper name mm -hmm. central the, university of jharkhand central university of jharkhand okay moving away from mm -hmm. rajasthan to join my dream university was a leap of faith right leap so faith. yes yes so that's how you can use mm -hmm. it and the last one for the day push the envelope push the envelope this is the last idiom for the day push the envelope mm -hmm. i don't know but uh, i think mm -hmm. your boundaries push your boundaries or yes yes very good okay. exactly so to push what is your the exact meaning I don't... this is the meaning what you okay. said so this is another way of saying that take a risk okay to go beyond mm, your limits and take a risk to go beyond your limits and take a risk that is called as pushing the envelope okay for example innovative companies often push the envelope to create amazing products something that we have only imagined that we feel can never come true there are some companies who mm -hmm. make that possible right they go beyond the usual limits and they take a risk so they push the envelope okay, okay. so yeah these are the idioms and i often use them in my uh, conversations because you can relate with them you can sprinkle them in your conversations here and there so try to use it whenever you get the opportunity okay yeah yeah sure yeah i know about you i have you know sometimes one or two conversations i have noted down properly when i started my journey of yours okay. from youtube then i know Mm -hmm. uh like you use advanced words and idioms in between but like yes. that are not much conspicuous but when we listen to very carefully yeah then we can get okay, they are using some advanced phrasal verbs yes and these things are not very um unheard of i don't believe in using vocabulary or idioms that you cannot use i love using those words which you often hear in media maybe when you're reading a magazine watching mm -hmm. an interview something that you can relate with you know so that way learning becomes fun and it's easy to memorize because you hear these things everywhere so it will get registered in your brain right so yes, that's the jewel yeah and that's about it from my end rajni now it's your turn if you have any questions whatsoever please feel free no, to let uh, me know tell me about my pronunciation part like mm -hmm. did i pronounced something wrong like this pronunciation Okay, not really. Your pronunciation seemed fine today, and you were also quite expressive when you were talking. When you were talking about mm -hmm. uh, the risk that you took, that you uh, said a lie at home, and then you came to your dream university, there was the playfulness, that uh, sense of achievement when you were talking. When you were talking about the choreo opportunity, I could sense that disappointment. So pronunciation is not just pronunciation of words; it's also you, the expressiveness in your voice that also counts. So you did a pretty good job. Uh, I did not spot any major errors as such. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, how's your YouTube journey going? I mean, I'm so happy to see your subscriber count. I was so pleased. I visited your channel. after i think my second or third english shari conversation with you and i was so happy and so surprised at the gro growth that you've made so how has how does it feel yeah it is going good but still i think i need to work upon myself and i have yeah. you know started preparing a little activities for group discussions and you know uh, yeah i forgot to tell you that in the last mm. session you asked me to uh, you you have given me the task to do with a mm. tutor and you have to become you have to play a role of be a tutor there so i did with ananya mm. sarkar and it was okay. a great experience she also liked that <laughs> wonderful wonderful tell me a bit more like how what was the session topic that you decided topic was the session notes itself what okay. was it Ah uh, yeah, the topic was very interesting. It was a love marriage versus arranged marriage. Oh, so fantastic. it was great. <laughs> wow, yeah. great. So had fun. 
yes a lot she also liked very much and she said i was thinking what uh, kind of activities i would do with you but now you are here tutor so i am now relaxed and go do whatever you want to do so we really a great job she really enjoyed Or, and she uh, she said like whoever is suggested that it is awesome idea she liked that idea amazing see um i'm very happy that you liked the technique uh keep doing it very often every now and then whenever you see the session document if you feel like it's something that you can play around with if something that intrigues mm -hmm. you go for it okay okay yeah yeah sure okay then amazing so that's it is it do you have anything else to share no that's it yeah and that's it okay this has been a wonderful conversation you were really good uh keep scaling up in terms of your presentation in terms of your question asking abilities right so make the sessions conversational don't feel shy don't feel hesitant like okay what what are they going to think if i ask this or ask that no you have to push the envelope now and keep challenging yourself all right yeah yeah, yeah absolutely okay. i'll see you in the next session then shall i yeah yeah sure okay lovely then take care rajni bye bye Yeah you too thank you bye 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 bye